matchup between Brooklyn rivals, Old Boys High Field was the battleground for the Lincoln Rail Splitters versus the Kangaroos from Boys and Girls High. Fresh off the heels of last week's PSAL league-wide incident, where Kangaroos assistant coach Dwayne Miller mooned a crowd of people in disagreement to an unfavorable call. Boys and Girls High had come to today's game ready to redeem themselves, led by assistant coach Clive Harding standing in for head coach Barry O'Connor, who was serving a one-game suspension as a penalty for last week's incident. Once underway, the rail splitters punched a 20 to nothing hole in the Kangaroo defense going into the half. Back from the break, boys and girls refreshed and regrouped refused to lay down. Wilbert Lee would run the ball for two TDs in an attempt to rally. But Andrew Vital and the rail splitters would not be outdone. Vital burned the field for 209 yards on 10 carries, adding three touchdowns to the board, moving the score to a 40-24 final count. Um, it, it was a good, it was a good game. You know, we got the win, which ma which is what matters at the end of the day. I'm real proud of my team. I think they responded well to uh, the, 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 the hard fought game by boys and girls. I would have liked to see less penalties uh, on the offensive side. And despite the loss, acting head coach Harding does not believe last week's incident was a distraction to today's game. There were some things that, that I thought, you know, I'm not going to go into right now because I'm told not to talk about it too much, but we addressed it as a staff. And uh, maybe, maybe it's one or two things we could have did differently, but we're still going to fight for a call that we think is right. From Brooklyn, New York, FormWayPost.com. Thanks in the world. Defense!